Good, Good morning, morning guys. guys. As you all know, I'm Marsha Lay. And I'm Jeffrey. And welcome back to the, the Racino's, Racino's Kitchen. Kitchen. Here at the Racino's Kitchen. We are so grateful for all of you guys that are watching. Um, we are excited to be able to share our family recipes with you. We hope that you all are taking notes, making these at home with your family. Um, it is a pleasure to be able to share this um, fun thing that we do together all the time. Um, so this morning, we realized we have never done a breakfast dish for you guys. We always do dinners and uh, we've never done breakfast. So this morning, we are going to be making chilaquiles. There you go, he helped, he helped me say it. <laughs> um, but we have all of our ingredients laid out. So we have our tortillas that we're gonna fry up. We have our tomatillos, our eggs, our carnitas meat, gotta have that protein in there. We have our chopped onions, our garlic, serrano peppers, jalapenos, salt and pepper, and garlic salt. And then we also have our vegetable oil that we're gonna fry up our tortillas with later. Um, but yeah, so we're excited to get started. You ready, babe? I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, so first things first is that we're gonna start off with our salsa verde, which consists of green tomatillos, yellow onions, jalapeno, serrano pepper, whole garlic, and some garlic salt. All right, guys, now with everything in the pot, submerged in water it depends on how much you want uh, this one is about like three cups or at least the tomatillos covered so we just set to boil and then from there we're gonna move it to the blender now that our salsa verde has boiled for about 15 20 minutes now we're what we're gonna do is transfer our boiled veggies into our blender now One thing you have to keep in mind is that once when transferring veggies, especially something that's hot into a blender, please, please, please start off on a slow cycle, then cycle up. Because trust me, I learned that the hard way. And now that our Salsa verde is done. Now it's time for my wife to start cracking these eggs. After I crack the eggs, I am going to add our salt and pepper. Then we are going to whisk them up really good and add them to our sliced tortillas. start slicing up our tortillas okay so I like to get them nice and neat you don't necessarily have to use all of these but I just got enough out just in case um, so we're gonna start I like to cut them because I'm extra I like to cut them neat so I start with a slice down the middle kind of like you're cutting a pizza and then um, I do it like that just because I like it to be neat Mind you, it does not have to come out neat. You can cut it however you are comfortable cutting it, but I don't know, just like maybe uniform. So this is my first section. I'm gonna push those to the side. I'm gonna get some more tortillas and I'm gonna slice those. As you can see now, I'm getting a little, uh, not sloppy, but you don't wanna take too much time because they're all gonna fry up and crumple up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna get a couple more. And mind you, we're making um, enough to maybe feed about four people. So um, you can kind of go, we like to eyeball stuff. So you can go based off of however many family members you have, add more or less tortillas, however um, you feel is best. Good enough. 
enough. So once we're done chopping these or slicing these, we're going to add them into our pot over here with a little vegetable oil so that we can lightly toast them. You don't want to do it too long because you don't want them to get soggy, okay? So we're going to, um, as, as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do it a little bit more. Okay, so now let's add these over to our pot. So we're going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in there. And we're gonna take this over to the stove so that we can lightly toast them. So now that our tortillas have lightly toasted and browned a little, we're going to go ahead and add our carnitas meat inside of it, okay? So everything can mesh together really nice. So let me put this in there. And now for the last step, our eggs. breakfast dish is finally complete we're gonna go ahead and show you how to put it all together so we have our small plate here we're gonna grab a little chilaquiles put it on the top of the plate mind you this is just an example plate so you can pack it up with however much you want drizzle a little bit of your salsa verde on top and if you want you can top it off with a little avocado because I love avocado so <laughs> and there you have your complete chilaquiles dish well guys here you have it our complete breakfast dish um, it looks very delicious you did a good job man eh? he did most of the work because <laughs> he perfects this dish way better than I do so um, I'm excited to eat we are so so grateful again that you guys are all tuning in with us and we look forward to seeing y'all next time we don't know what we're gonna make yet but we will be back come back to the Racino's kitchen and check out our next recipe you guys have fun enjoy stay safe stay healthy we love you blessings on blessings on Bye -bye. blessings love you guys Bye.